With over four million visitors a year, Yellowstone is both an adventure and a literal hotspot. Yellowstone's heart is the giant collapsed crater of a supervolcano. Heated by underground magma, Yellowstone has half of all the known geysers in the world, around 500 in all. Here at the Clepsydra geyser, cold water flows down to Yellowstone's molten core and explodes into steam. Clepsydra has been erupting almost continuously since 1959. Its plumes of superheated water can reach up to 40 feet. Another spectacular geothermal creation lures thousands of people from around the world. The Grand Prismatic Spring. This is the largest hot spring in the U.S. and the third largest in the world. The water at its blue core is a deadly 188 degrees Fahrenheit. But as the water spreads, it cools. The colorful bands reveal that the Grand Prismatic is home to extreme forms of life. Each band supports billions of unique bacteria or algae that create their own colors. When visitors on the boardwalk of the Grand Prismatic cross patterns that look like giant flames, they are stepping over bands of microbes called thermophiles or heat lovers. They are the descendants of some of the earliest forms of life on Earth, organisms that thrive in extreme environments like the waters of Grand Prismatic Spring. While millions visit Yellowstone's more famous geothermal sites, much of the park is still so wild you can hike for days and not see another human. This trail runs for almost 17 miles up what's known as Specimen Ridge. It gives hikers the chance to experience the Yellowstone region just as Native Americans, trappers, and explorers did when they first made their way across these vast open spaces. Many parts of Yellowstone National Park are still as wild as they were thousands of years ago. And one animal that once disappeared from the park has returned, the wolf. Yellowstone's Hayden Valley has turned into a prime habitat for some of North America's most powerful predators. It's early June and the largest wolf pack in Yellowstone is on the hunt. Called the Wapiti Lake Pack, it's roughly 20 wolves strong. In 1995, wolves were reintroduced into the park. They quickly made a comeback. Today, there are roughly eight packs and 90 wolves inside the park. They have helped keep elk populations in balance. And in a large pack, wolves can even take down Yellowstone's other great comeback story, bison. More than 4,000 of these giants roam free here. Once reduced to just 25 animals, today's herds are descended from the park's original mountain bison and 21 plains bison brought here in 1902. The herd's revival is a Yellowstone success story. But these are still wild creatures. And when visitors wander too close, their outdoor adventures can take a tragic turn. Every year, several visitors to the park are gored by bison. <laughs> 